All right, Paul. Stellantis has been hit with another air quality violation notice for odors coming from the Mac assembly plant. Problem first arose last year along Beneteau Street, which faces right up to the plant. Neighbors complained about the odor and about headaches and a burning in their eyes and throats. From September through November of last year, complaints led to three air quality violations at Mac Assembly. At the time, Stellana said they would work to address it. Then in January, Eagle gave them back or gave their backing to Stellana's odor mitigation plan, which included rerouting some duct work amid installing thermal oxidizers, which destroy odor causing compounds. Well, that doesn't seem to have happened because now the state has issued a new air quality violation. Victor Williams spoke with neighbors and one state senator who says the promises are not enough. I've been afraid. I've stated it before because I don't know. Smelling it is great, but what's in it that I can't smell? Robert Shobe has lived in his home on Benito Avenue for a quarter of a century, but says he's not at all surprised about the fourth air quality violation at the relatively recently built Stellantis plant near his home. I'm surprised it's only four. I just believe we're too close. And the report from Eagle, odors are believed to be coming from the paint used to make some of the Jeeps on the line. There's ongoing work that's happening to, to resolve Solve this, but I just think that we need to continue to remind ourselves that this is the air that people are breathing. State Senator Stephanie Chang has heard from countless neighbors and has gone to several meetings regarding the matter. She says something needs to change. You know, there were a number of violations from last fall, so it's really it's just so disappointing to know that there's a, yet again another violation uh, months later. The Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy says, quote, Eagle continues to respond to evaluate complaints. Eagle is working through the escalated enforcement process, partnering with the U.S. EPA and consulting with the MDHHS on matters related to evaluation of public health. But Shelb says that's not good enough. He's already experiencing some heavy symptoms. This right here is on a different level, from burning eyes to nausea to um, headaches, um, chest pains, all types of stuff when you get to breathe in this stuff. And Stellantis has sent us over a statement, one that we're kind of used to seeing. It reads, quote, we are implementing the corrective action submitted to Eagle on January 7th and will continue to work with the agency to resolve this issue in a timely manner. A timeline for completion of these activities will depend in part on the outcome of discussions with Eagle regarding permitting requirements and deadlines imposed through the enforcement process. Victor Williams, Local 4. Not come soon enough for the residents there. All right, Victor.